Athletes today can run faster, jump higher and hit harder than ever before. Thanks in part to sport and exercise scientists who are using their understanding of physiology to optimise athletes' training, performance and recovery and helping us live healthier lives through physical activity. Take Jamie. He works as the sports scientist for a professional football team. Jamie is helping the players stay injury free by using sensors on the skin to gather data on muscle contractions and fatigue and using these data to tailor players training to maximise performance and minimise injuries. Then there's Victoria. She's investigating why athletes with spinal cord injuries seem prone to overheating. This is when our deep body temperature goes too high, increasing blood flow to the skin and putting greater strain on the heart. Below their injury, these athletes' bodies can't regulate temperature through usual methods like sweating. And the higher up the injury, the worse the problem is. With competitions like the Paralympic Games increasingly held in hot climates, this research could play a vital role in helping to prepare athletes and keep them safe. And it's not just athletes who benefit from sports and exercise science. It's also helping people with physiologically challenging jobs, like those working in extreme environments and the emergency services. Radica works with the fire service to measure the physiological impact of wearing protective equipment like respiratory devices. These units allow firefighters to work in hot, smoky conditions, but the extra load can place increased strain on the heart and decrease firefighters' capabilities. So Radica's research is being used to devise recommendations about how long firefighters should use such protective equipment. And what does sport and exercise science mean for the rest of us? Well, it's been said that if exercise were a pill, it'd be one of the most impactful drugs ever invented. From improving patients' fitness prior to surgery to combating epidemics such as obesity and diabetes, sport and exercise scientists are showing us how physical activity can help us to live healthier lives for longer. But is occasional exercise enough? Recent research has uncovered something known as the active couch potato phenomenon. This describes people who are physically active but who still spend many uninterrupted hours sitting down. It turns out this can cause real problems for our bodily systems with increased blood pressure, cholesterol and risk of cardiovascular disease. So sport and exercise scientists have a big challenge to make sure we're moving more and staying healthy. By helping athletes, protecting workers and pushing for greater public health, physiologists in sport and exercise science are using their knowledge for good everywhere. Now is a great time to get involved. <laughs>